I try to give you a book hint uh, every week, and it's midweek, and uh, I thought I would share an author. Uh, I'm going to give you a book of his that is, in my opinion, tremendous, but he has written so many titles. I was in a used bookstore uh, the other day, and I picked this up for $3. Word Studies in Philippians. Did y'all hear that? Word Studies in Philippians. Written by a man. I, I don't know if I can hold it where you can see it or not. Written by a man named Kenneth Wiest. Are you familiar with the writings of Kenneth Wiest? Uh, let me tell you about him. He was born, because I, I looked it up, he was born in 1893. Uh, he got saved, studied the Word of God, became proficient, listen to me, in Greek. And as a result of that, ended up teaching Greek at Moody Bible Institute. Back in the day uh, when it was really Moody Bible Institute, and all oh, how God used his ministry. For decades, he served the Lord teaching the Greek language. Uh, he is a Bible believer, and he is a Bible scholar, Kenneth Wiest. If you don't know him, if you're not familiar with him, uh, uh, go to Amazon Books, go to A Books, go to your book source and buy one volume, one volume by Kenneth Weiss. If I uh, were a fisherman, I would be in business today. They're hitting top water like crazy out here uh, where I'm standing on the bank of this, uh, of this lake. Get ready. I'm going to give you I'm standing on rock. That's the reason I'm a little bit unsure of my footing. Treasures from the Greek New Testament. Treasures from the Greek New Testament. You can get it in a multi-volume set. Look for it. First Peter in the Greek New Testament. Oh, I love this one. Untranslatable riches from the Greek New Testament. Philippians in the Greek New Testament. The practical use of your Greek New Testament. Ephesians and Colossians in the Greek New Testament. The book of Romans in the Greek New Testament. I invite you to find and to study and to enjoy Kenneth Wiest. And again, I have shown you Philippians in the Greek New Testament. Just a book hint from Brother Bagwell. Always keep the center of your reading on that book right there, the Word of God. But learn to glean from the great men. We stand on the shoulders of giants as preachers and Sunday school teachers and Bible students and Christian workers. Kenneth Wiest, book hint. I hope you enjoy searching and reading from this man. He's a dispensationalist. He's an old-fashioned Bible believer. I think you will enjoy his writings. Another book hint, the Lord willing, another book hint next week. God bless you.